In other news, Kenyan e-commerce and food distribution startup Twiga Foods has announced a fresh round of job cuts. In a statement, the firm cites a tough economic environment affecting Kenyans' purchasing power, necessitating the downsizing of its operating model across its regions. The ongoing tough economic times have seen most the ongoing tough economic times has seen most companies and businesses downsize, rationalize their workforce, and retweak their business model in order to remain afloat. In the last three months, it is estimated that over 3,000 Kenyans have lost their jobs as organizations undertake restructuring. Trigger Foods, a business-to-business -business platform that connects farmers and food vendors, has announced a fresh round of layoffs. In a statement, the farm cites biting economic times affecting purchasing power, necessitating resizing of its operating model across the region. The statement reads, Regrettably, this exercise has seen the company declare some roles redundant across the organization in full compliance with applicable labor laws. The firm noted that the business has undertaken strategic operating adjustments to enhance its service delivery capacity over the past few months. The startup company has, however, not disclosed the number of employees that will be affected. In November 2022, the company asked 211 workers, which was 21% of its workforce, in a restructuring model that aimed at cutting costs. This move eliminated its in-house sales team. In March, the firm, however, clinched a deal where Twigo partnered with the Kenyan government to oversee maize production on 20,000 acres of the Galana Kulalu Food Security Project and a public-private partnership. The tech farm has also received a 300 million shillings loan from the state-owned Hustler Fund. Launched in 2014, the e-commerce platform leverages technology to connect consumers, vendors and suppliers, providing them with high-quality foods, products and retail services across Africa. Werimu Jenga for Lunchtime News.